Hi folks, it's Rob from the Brush and Balkan. Today we're going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to paint blue cloaks. Now the first colour we're going to use is Citadel McCrag Blue. We're going to do a base layer on the cloak, so you want to get this nice and smooth. Now you can do this with any colour blue, so whether it's darker or lighter, just follow exactly the same techniques and it should work out looking the same. But obviously the different blue. Now this is a really simple method and you can add a lot more layers to it. If you want to, as you're coming towards the end, if you feel you need to add a few more layers, then crack on. But as I say, this is just a very quick and easy way of doing cloaks. Next layer is going to be Citadel Drakenhof Nightshade. We're going to apply this to the cloak, just so we can get all the recesses darkened. I do want to try and get a little bit more of the shade in the areas where it's not going to catch any light, so underneath there and on the front where it's underneath his arm. Areas like that have a little bit more shading, but you don't want to put too much on there so it dries with the shine. You want it to remain matte when it dries. Now we're returning to Citadel McCrag Blue. I'm going to reapply this to the cloak, making sure that you leave some of the shade in the recesses. Now if you think about where the light would be catching it, it's going to catch it on all of the ridges and all of the areas which are sort of flat and facing upwards, so the top part of this cloak here and each of the ridges on the back, they're going to be brighter near the top and where they're catching more light than they are near the bottom, so just bear that in mind when you're adding your layers and your highlights. Now we're adding a little bit of white to it, now we're using Vallejo white here, but whichever white you've got you can use that. We're going to be adding highlights to all the raised areas and the areas that are going to catch more light. Now what you want to do is when you're applying it, make sure that you're leaving some of the normal McCrag blue showing around the edges of it, because that's the sort of gradient that you want to be going for. So you'll have some of the shade showing, some of the McCrag blue showing, then this highlight. Like so. Now we're going to add a little bit more white to the mix once more, lighten up that mix and give it one more highlight. Again you want to be leaving some of the previous highlight around the edges so that you get that gradient from the shade to the McCrag blue to the last highlight to this highlight. And just build those up as layers so that you're getting a nice steady progression through them. As I said at the start, if you wanted to really get that smooth transition you can add more layers to this if you want to. But this is a quick and easy method to get it looking decent. Now we're going to add one final highlight by mixing white to the previous mix again. And I'm just going to build up the very extreme parts where you want to highlight. You can see here it's mainly the ridges and the raised areas that you're going to be putting this highlight on. And I'll just make the very tops of them stand out where they're catching more light. And that is the blue cloak finished. Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Also think about subscribing to some of our other social media, link below. Thanks very much.